Welcome everybody. For today's video we will going to have a look at Big Brain Academy. No, not this one. This one. If you don't know the game, it's quite simple. You have five categories of minigames with three minigames each. Each minigame has three levels of difficulty. Easy, normal and difficult. For each of the levels you get 60 seconds to solve as many puzzles as possible. And when you're done with this, this dude will determine how big your brain is and he will also give you a medal depending on how well you did. And since there are quite a lot of minigames, we will only focus on two of them. Pathfinder and Matchmaker. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first one. The first game is called Pathfinder and it's quite easy to understand. You have one animal at the top and its counterpart on the bottom. And our task is to connect the animals by drawing exactly one horizontal line. So in order to automate this game, we first need to figure out how many vertical lines and horizontal connections are there. And then we need to detect all the animals and check on which vertical line they are at. So we first have to take some screenshots. And with that, I mean a lot of screenshots. Three hours later. With this done, let's jump right into the code. So while the past me is coding all of these things, I want to let you know that I'm on a journey to get more subscribers than the Christmas Island has inhabitants. So if you want to help me on this journey, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. Now the code is able to detect all the horizontal and vertical lines as well as the animals. So the next step will be to find out which horizontal line we need to draw. And since we can only draw a horizontal line on the bottom screen and there are not so many connections at the moment, I think the easiest solution for now would be to try all of the possible horizontal connections and check which one works. After implementing all of this, I think it's time to test our code. So either the code is very slow or it doesn't work at all. Let's fast forward and see what's the case. Apparently the code is working, but it's quite slow. So let's jump into the code again and make it faster. Many, many minutes later. The main optimization is that we use grayscale images instead of color images now. And we also limit the space where we search for the animals and the lines. Another point is that we no longer generate all of the horizontal connections that are possible, but rather generate one connection, check if it fits, and if it fits, we move on to the next. So let's go back in the game and test our adjustments. It seems like the code is working quite well on the easy mode. It can deal with one animal pair as well as with multiple animal pairs. So that's quite a success. So we did the job for the easy mode, but who cares about the easy mode? Let's move on to the normal mode. This should be quite similar to the easy mode and should not give us any difficulties. Oh, apparently there are skulls and, and they kill you. So let's adjust our code to handle these skulls and give it another try. By the way, the stars in the bottom right corner indicate how difficult the level is. So one star means quite easy, while six stars means very difficult. So apparently the code can handle the new obstacle. So let's move on and see how big our brain will be.
I think we did quite a good job on this one. So without further ado, let's move on to the difficult mode. So the new thing in this mode is that there could be quite a lot of animals, which causes the horizontal lines to be shorter than before. Unfortunately our code cannot detect the shorter horizontal lines, so we need to make some adjustments and try it again. I think three platinum medals is quite a success. So without further ado, let's move on to the next game. This mini game is called Matchmaker and it's quite simple to understand. We get a bunch of pictures and we need to click all of them that occur multiple times. To automate this game we have multiple possibilities. The first option would be to take a screenshot of all the smaller images and check if they occur multiple times. Even though this is possible, I think it's quite inefficient and most importantly, I don't want to take so many screenshots. So we will use another approach. In this approach, I will search for some bounding boxes within a specific width and height, which will give us all of the smaller images. Afterwards, I take all of these bounding boxes, compare them to one another and find out which of them occur multiple times. Then we just need to get the coordinates of the duplicates and click them one after another. While the past me is writing this code, feel free to like the video or hit the subscribe button. But let's go back to the video. So with all of this done, let's test our code on the easy mode. So it seems like the code does the job, but I found that the code has some difficulties to find the difference between pictures that look quite alike. So let's make some adjustments before we go into the normal mode. After beating the normal mode and getting another platinum medal, I think it's time to move on to the difficult mode. Thank you. 
So after getting 6 platinum medals today, I think we can call it a day. So see you in the next video.